I don't know why designers think that when a woman gets fatter, because I'm fat and I'm willing to admit that, when we get big, beautiful bodies, our arms get longer. This thing fits me very barely everywhere else. But as long as this is, it could have a little keyhole in here and I could have it up on my hand. What is that? So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug says morning pumpkin. And it was a pick again from you know who. You know who. We've been here long enough, you know who. Last time went shopping. Wasn't expecting to buy a coffee mug. We were kind of tight on budget and she bought it anyway. Now, I thought about putting pumpkin, fast pumpkin spice tea in here. However, what you're seeing right there with the dragons is just the tip top of the tea containers. No, I wasn't going to dig through all that to see if I even had any left. Because for all I know, I don't. Anyway, so what is in our, our pumpkin, morning pumpkin mug? This is the Stash Golden Turmeric Chai. It was uh, sent by Sip Spy at one point. And it's actually one of my favorite teas of theirs. I actually really enjoy the turmeric chai, the golden turmeric chai. It's a really nice tea. This has... Uh, cinnamon, ginger root, turmeric, orange peel, cardamom seed, and clove. It's a really nice tea. So we'll go ahead, and it's very golden. I love that. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see that, because I didn't completely fill the mug. Let's go ahead and get it a sip and get started. Mm. Despite the fact that this mug is huge, I did double bag it because this mug is huge. You're actually really getting the nice flavor. Oh, that's good. It's a little too sweet right now, but it's because the, the tea itself is still trying to steep in. We've only been steeping for about a minute or two, and they take at least three. All right, so today I am actually doing a hair care review. <laughs> it's been a while. I have really actually pretty much settled into the hair care products I like for the most part. There are a few things I'm having to figure out how to replace, one of them being the Eden Body Works uh, Citrus Fusion. Um, there were a couple of it. I had to replace a, uh, I had to find a new uh, leave-in conditioner because the one that I really liked was $22, which is a little high priced. And Eden didn't really have anything that I really liked. I found one for $15. So, uh, and I'm still playing around with different kinds of oils and things. And so, but beyond all that, <laughs> you all know, Eden is like my favorite hair care brand. If you've been here for any length of time, you know that Eden is my uh, hair, favorite hair care brand. And they came out with a new line. Uh, the line is good. I'm just going to preface it with that. But if you are scent sensitive, you're not going to like this line. All right. So these products are more perfumey than their previous lines. Really upset me. If you look at any of these, I think I opened these on the channel. Uh, if you look at anything, the, the parfum is in the middle of the ingredients. Usually it's at the bottom for everything else. So these are really odd <laughs> to me because that perfume is so much higher. Um, than it is in their other stuff. And I picked up the, let's start at the beginning. I picked up the uh, Moisturizing Co-Wash. I picked up the Anti-Breakage Deep Conditioner. The Hair and Body Butter, which I was hoping would replace the Citrus Fusion, um, which it probably could, but the scent, <laughs> the scent. We'll get to more on that. Uh, and then the Smoothing Gel. Uh, and I don't use, most of the gels I use are very liquidy because of my hair. I don't want to overload it um, or they are spray types that I spray into my hand and scrunch in. Other than that, I don't use a whole lot of gels because I just don't like the way they feel in my hair. And I don't need 
I don't need that hard cast. I, I actually much prefer my softer curls. But I did want to give this a try. And uh, so we've got that. And we'll get on to all that. As I was saying, um, the scents, like I was saying, is really strong. These are as strong or stronger than the Citrus Fusion, which is one of the stronger scents among their, um, among their lines to me. It does have a much stronger scent. Uh, it's stronger than the Coconut Shea, which has a decent amount of scent that I can actually smell, but it fades over time and it doesn't annoy me. And I really love the Citrus Fusion's uh, scent profile, so I don't have a problem with that. I love that citrusy smell. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how lavender smells. Well, I do now. When I got it, I didn't know. I'm not really into florals, honestly. If I were to buy perfume, which I don't because they trigger my allergies, I would get more muskier scents. I wouldn't buy too many florals. Um, but I suspect that it's more perfume version of lavender than actual lavender. That said, each product seems to have a slightly different level of scent. And timing on how the scent fades. For most of them, I wish it would fade faster. So I did use this actually rather extensively, all of these. I initially used them all in one go. Uh, not because they're, they don't work, not because they're bad products, but because of that scent. And, uh, I actually used two or three of them one day when I was going to do a filming and my daughter just looked at me at one point, I walked by or something. She just looked at me and said, I thought you didn't like scent. And I said, I don't. She says, well, you smell like a, um, perfume, a perfume shop going by. And I was just like, great. So it's strong. If you, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I am, I don't like scent. I am mildly sensitive to it. I am really sensitive to perfumes because it, it starts up my allergies. However, um, I can handle a little bit of scent, just a little bit. If you cannot handle scent at all, this line is not for you. I will tell you that right now. No. It is too strong for me, and I have a tolerance towards some sense. It, it doesn't bother me as much as it does a lot of people. This is highly fragranced. And I'm, like I said, I am very disappointed because otherwise the line is really good. If it had a much lower fragrance level, I'd probably be keeping all of these and repurchasing some of them. Moving along. So let's talk about each of them individually and we will go from there and we will also talk about how it worked out on using them. So the moisturizing co-wash, the scent of this one really surrounds you when initially applied, but it fades fairly quickly. This is a nice co-wash. It is gentler than the coconut shea. As you all know, I like the coconut shea because it's kind of in the middle. It is not like applying lotion to your hair, but at the same time, it's not a shampoo. However, it does cleanse. It does not get rid of buildup, but it will remove, um, you know, if you've put stuff in your hair recently. I use it in conjunction with something else for my scalp because as a scalp cleanser, it, it's not going to have enough oomph to it, but it is really good for just resetting your hair just a little bit. It won't get rid of everything, but it gets rid of enough that you can figure your hair is, um, you know, fairly clean and reset. When I used this, my hair was silky and smooth enough so that I realized that it was about time for a trim. Um, this made everything so so smooth that I could feel those dry ends. And there is no, there's no dimethicone in here. So it's not from dimethicone. I, it is none. So whatever does that, there's no dimethicone, no amodimethicone. I have not heard of uh, Eden Body Works ever using either one of those two ingredients. Thank God. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, for this one there, it's not in there. Uh, and usually you would, uh, attribute that kind of slip to that to either dimethicone or amodimethicone. Not in here, but it has an astounding slip to it. Um, so this is really moisture rich. I did another slight mod for this wash uh, at a later time and mixed with the co-wash, mixed it with the Eden Coconut Shea co-wash to see if it would reduce the scent and help with the buildup of the perfumes. Because like I said, Using these all at once, I walked by my daughter and she thought I was a perfume shop. 
really. She thought I was highly fragranced. And um, she said, I, I smelled like a flower shop or something. I can't remember. It was just, it was one of those things that made me go, yep, this is definitely not for me. Because it was driving me crazy by the time I got done applying all this stuff. Anyway, uh, I did try to mix it with the Eden uh, Coconut Shaco Wash to see if it reduces the scent. I was worried the two together would smell awful, but they actually seemed to cancel one another out. So there was almost no scent at all. Some of the silkiness from this was lost, but not a lot, and a deep conditioner helped with that. However, I am unlikely to repurchase this. It's not a bad product, but I feel the coconut shea cleans better. Uh, this one has, um, like I said, it has more slip than the coconut shea. You do lose some of that slip when you mix it with the coconut shea, but this does have more slip, but the coconut shea to me has more cleansing power. And um, since I try to use shampoos only once a week, I want a little extra oomph in my cleansing power. Um, I do co-wash two, sometimes three times a week. However, there are times when I've only done it once in the middle of the week. So I need a co-wash that's going to do a little bit more cleaning than this. I will finish using this up. I will probably continue to mix it with my coconut shea. Um, however, because of that heavy scent, um, I'm, I'm not going to read. And the fact that it's, it's not quite as big of a... a cleansing buster as the coconut shea, I probably won't repurchase. I don't think this is actually intended to be. Um, it is a cleaner. It does clean. I just don't think it's supposed to be as cleansing as, say, the coconut shea because uh, it just, I think it's more more to be a moisturizer. So, um, yeah. I, I don't, like I said, it's not bad. Just, and I will use it up, but the, the scent is just too much. It's too much. All right, so next we have the Eden Anti-Breakage Deep Conditioner. And while this has almost no scent as you apply it, it's there. This is where the scent buildup starts because it is there. And it is kind of... This has more of a fresh scent to it than a perfumey scent. Uh, the, the last two are highly perfumey. Um... It's still in the same lavender family that these all are. It's just a lighter scent. So using this doesn't bother me that much, but it does build up on my hair, especially if I'm using others from the, um, from the family, so to speak. It's a bit on the stiffer side, though not as stiff as the jojoba manoy. I have lots of problems with the jojoba manoy. My hair is too thin and too easy to break um, to use jojoba manoy. Uh, I really think the Jojoba Monoy deep conditioner or mask or whatever it is, it's been a while since I've used it. I think that's actually more for type 4 hair that has a bit more uh, sturdiness to it. Probably not the thin. I know at least one person who has really thin, delicate type 4 hair. But if you have a sturdier hair type, a coarser hair type, I think the Jojoba Monoy would be more for you. This actually can work for my hair. It's just a little bit stiffer. It mixes well with my Botanique Amender, uh, which is a must nowadays because of the silver. Um, because of the silver, my hair needs more moisture. But if I use too much moisture, the part of my hair that's not silver gets over moisturized. So I am now using only masks. I do not use regular conditioner. I do use leave-in, but I do not use regular conditioner after my masks anymore. And I always mix in just a little bit of uh, Botanica's The Mender. It is a protein treatment. I always mix in just a little bit of that with my masks to give the, the non-silver <laughs> the protein it needs to withstand how much moisture I'm having to give my hair. Uh, so long explanation for that. But this did mix well with it. It didn't curdle or anything like that. It stayed fairly creamy. And my hair was silky all the way down the ends. Moisture-wise, I don't think it has the level of Eden's uh, Almond Marshmallow Mask, but it has more than, say, my Tailored Beauty Moisture Penetrating Deep Conditioning Treatment, which I actually really like. It's just a much more lightweight, moisturizing type uh uh, treatment conditioner deep conditioner a nice middle of the road here for the deep conditioner i'll have to try it with the coconut shea to see if the co-wash made my nose scent blind um i did try it with the coconut shea 
and I used the other three products with it and it still got that build up as I recall. Most of these I use maybe once or twice in the lineup that I list. Uh, so I have tried it that way. Uh, the scent, the coconut shea, oh, the co-wash did not make my nose scent blind for this. Um, it is, this is still very, very lightweight, lightweight in, in terms of the scent. It is there. So if you are highly scent sensitive, it's still not going to be for you. Uh, I'll probably, I will be giving this to my granddaughter. Again, it's not a bad product, but the scent buildup, like I said, really starts here with this. And my hair loves the almond marshmallow and the miel rosemary mint masks with all, all that heavy scent. If this was, um, if this was like their other products where the scent was very, very light uh, because the perfumes were at the bottom, I probably would keep this. However, since I have one that I am definitely keeping uh, that's down the road a little bit, um, I don't want anything else that I would mix with it to actually enhance that scent because the scents are already too strong. So this will be going to my granddaughter who needs a moisture mask this weekend anyway. She's coming this weekend. She needs a moisture mask. Some scent remained after I removed my towel, uh, but it reminded me more of vanilla than anything. Uh, I, Like I said, I don't know what lavender smells like. I don't think these are actually smelling like lavender, if that makes sense. They seem more like they're, um, I don't know, cotton candy. That's one of the things that I think I mentioned. They kind of smell like vanilla or cotton candy to me. They are way sweet. And um, it just got a little too heavy. Um, before I started using the stu uh, stylers, I had some really decent wet curl from using these two. So, like I said, they're really good products. It's just if you cannot handle the smell, if you can't handle a lot of scent in your, your products, you're not going to like these. All right, going down, we're still working on the first one. It's like how I've used these. So next is our hair and body butter. This is the one I really had the highest hopes for to replace the citrus fusion butter. It's overall cheaper than the CYR care. That's the one that's in here. And it ships faster. And it doesn't end up in a shipping black hole for literally months. I had a second CYR care bottle show up after the one that I emailed them about. I think wherever, I think it gets in Pittsburgh or Ohio or somewhere, and then it just sits there for a week or two. I'm having that problem with something else right now in Atlanta. But um, I now have the two bottles, and uh, yeah, just this, the Eden ships pretty quickly, and um, I've never had any of theirs go missing or take two months to get to me or anything like that. So my first with use with of this was with the gel to get the sense of the entire line together. So I did the co-wash and I did the, the deep conditioner, then I did this, and then I did the gel and I didn't use anything else <laughs> uh, the first time I used them. Um, second use was with the Taylor Beauty curling cream, no gel. Third was by itself. All were air dries. There's a few others that I have in here, so there will be a couple others I mentioned. All were air dries, no turby twists, but occasionally hand scrunching. So just so you know that that's going to be the foundation of what's going on with how I tried this out in various ways. And why did I do air dries? Since I tend to prefer to diffuse. Uh, because how good my curl is air dried honestly usually gives... Um, an indication of how good my curl is going to be when it's uh, diffused. So like most people, I have uh, a very um, multi-types of textures in my hair. I have these uh, one C's, one B's, two A's, somewhere in there. And then down here at the bottom, I've got some curly Q's that are like three B's. So. And I've got a mix in between. And then the back of my head, I've got hair that's practically straight. So ones. Most curlies are like that. So when I air dry, which I do most of the time if I'm not going to be filming or anything. Uh, when I air dry, I end up with more waves. And I end up with curls at the bottom like these. These beautiful corkscrews. I'll end up with some corkscrews on the bottom. Uh, 
but in general it's more wavy than it is curly when I air dry because um, it's not getting any help to boost it up. So air drying and getting some curl from scrunching it a bit when I while it's drying actually indicates a product to me for me is very very good. So this is quite a bit thicker than the Citrus Fusion, which had me a bit concerned, though I tend to go lightweight on my products. My curls are very easy to weigh down, so real heavy products, not a good thing. And the initial perfuminess is a bit much. The scent is building per product. So by the time I got to this, yes, oh boy, <laughs> it was smelling a lot, a lot. Uh, and it starts smelling less like vanilla by the time you get to this if you're using these other products with before it. This is definitely heavy and it's too heavy. <laughs> uh, I have, I've had to, for the various uh, trials using it, I've had to figure out what is a good amount of this to use. Um, I can use more of the citrus body butter than I can of this. So, yes, and I had issues with it feeling weighed down or feeling, um, um, a residue on my hair and you all know I hate that but we're gonna get to the uses in a minute let's talk about the gel and then we'll get to all the different type ways I used it the smoothing gel this is the most perfumey of the bunch which was the biggest concern and is particularly annoying because it's the one I really like <laughs> Uh, it's at the end of the entire lavender wash and styling with little to nothing to break up the scent. And yeah, it does make the scent take over the top when using the whole line by itself. I do like the consistency of this. Um, it's not real loose. It's not real thick. It's, it's a gel. It's very, it's very loose jelly. I, I really do like the consistency of this. It is very, very nice. That's what it looks like. Damn, that's strong. And this one has uh, the closest to the floral scent of the lavenders. Uh, the others are more, like I said, one, a couple of them smell more like vanilla or cotton candy. They're just sweet. They don't necessarily sound, smell like flowers. Um, yeah, this one is more, this is the uh, body butter. This one gives me more of that cotton candy sense to it. And like I said before, this is that lighter, more refreshing scent, kind of. But of course, they are all building up on the same scent profile. So even if one smells more refreshing and the other one smells more like cotton candy, you're still also getting more of that lavender. So it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot to take in by the time I got to this. At any rate, so like I was saying, uh, I do like the consistency of this. And again, it didn't seem to weight the wet curl down at all. Okay, so let's talk about the final results. So the scent lingers a bit longer than I like, but it does slowly fade, though you do get hints of it for a while after the wash. I do remember um, I took my hair down. It was, I'd, I'd used all four of them. And I took my hair down. It was dry. And I could smell it. It came in my face and I could smell it. And that's too much. <laughs> so for my used one, when I used all of them, my hair felt really soft. I mean, really soft. So it was very moisturized. If you have hair that is moisture sensitive, just like if you're scent sensitive, you don't want to use this. This, at least not the whole line. This is definitely a line for people with dry hair uh, or consistently dry hair who have problems, you know, like maybe you've gotten it permed or something and it's dried out and it needs some help. These will help with that. But if you have hair that is easily weighed down by moisture, this will take your hair down. <laughs> it will. There is a lot of moisture in this. And the gel held up for me for more than a few days, which is amazing since my hair tends to get looser and fuzzier and lankier the further I get away from a wash day. I think I went a total of three days and on the fourth day I washed. And I still had these curls. I still have these curls. These curls will last a few days, which is really weird for me because I've never had that happen before. Usually my hair just, the whole, like I said, when I air dry and I don't crunch it up or anything, it's more waves and it gets straighter, it gets straighter until I have only curl on the bottom. And it gets fuzzier and it gets more um, frizzy and 
that didn't really happen much with this. It was getting a little frizzier, but it wasn't loosening up. It wasn't lengthening down. So it was really nice with this gel. Um, so, so I am, I'm definitely most impressed with the gel out of all of them. Uh, when I diffuse, I get more frizz, not unusual. My hair tends towards frizz no matter what I do, especially since our weather has been more of a humid hellscape than usual. Of like, <laughs> by the time you see this, it has been clearing up my, but it has been so bad that my skin has been acting up, not just with my usual summer problems. I have been having um, breakouts and, and blotchiness and just weird shit <laughs> that I'm blaming on the weather. Now that the humidity is clearing up, my skin is, is, is fine. My skin doesn't like humidity either. My skin in my hair. Uh, but the definition and hold are amazing. My curls almost always look good with the uh, hair and body butter and gel combo as long as my base products were good. So that was using all of them. I was very happy with the result. I was not happy with the scent um, because I managed to figure out how to go very light on the body, body butter. My hair didn't feel weighed down. It did have a slight residue, uh, but the curl was good for an air dry. For me, an air dry curl is, if it's actually curly when I air dry, it's good. So, and it did do that. So the second time I used the um, Taylor Beauty and the gel, got a bit more frizz, less definition, and fewer coils with this combo. The frizz may have been the weather, again, raining, humid hellscape. <laughs> swear to you. It was definitely a disappointment. The hair didn't look bad, just not as good the as it did the first round. Uh, and... Though the amount of curl looked about the same once dry and weird because that's kind of weird because the antidote curling cream actually has been a curl booster for me. So I want to say these products, because I tried it with all of them, these products do not get along with the curl antidote curling cream, which has been a curly booster in the past. Now I did use today, I did use the curling cream. Um, I used my citrus fusion butter and I used the gel and I'm not unhappy with this. I'm, I've got some really nice, decent corkscrews in here. As you can see on the uh, silver side, we're not doing quite so well. So apparently if I use the Taylor Beauty, I have to use it with the citrus, uh, citrus butter and I have to use them both very, very lightly or I get issues. It is quite possible that, that, that this gel is too heavy for that particular curling cream. That curling cream has no hold to it uh, to help give that bump when a heavier product is applied over it. I've noticed when using it with other heavy products, the that boosting effect that I was talking about isn't nearly as good. Another nice thing is I noticed that even with the butter that um, there's enough hold to it that... Uh, when it comes out of the pineapple, it's actually not that bad. The curls are still there. It's really, when I put my hair up in a pineapple like this, I'm just gonna put some of it up. You put all your hair up in a pineapple like this, right? And all of this is pulled. And for my hair, usually that pull um, reduces the amount of curl. For these, it didn't reduce it that far. It didn't reduce it that badly. And it was very easy to, it has been very easy to refresh them. Ah, we are getting there. This is my last use. This is where I used the Citrus Fusion uh, body butter and the gel. The gel and the body butter uh, combo from the original line here from the aloe. So good. I figured I tried it with the Citrus Fusion to see how it works. I figure is it remotely as good? I can continue to look for a different body butter with a lighter scent for when my um, citrus fusion finally runs out. It's gonna be a while. I have a whole case of minis in like five or six, five or six tubs. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> when they said that they were discontinuing the citrus fusion, I said, buy it, buy it all. <laughs> Uh, my hair ended up being a bit more frizzy, which I'm used to, but the same great curl and hold and second hair, day hair was a bit better than usual out of the pineapple. 
My crown was a mess, but my crown is always a mess when it's out of the pineapple. <laughs> Uh, but the lower curls held up really well. So I think that that will be my witch wit, uh, that will be my mix, the citrus fusion and this gel, <laughs> uh, until I can find something to replace the citrus fusion and the citrus fusion is gone. Um, when it's gone, I'll look for another low scent butter then. Uh, but yeah, the biggest complaint, my biggest complaint about the whole line is the scent. Um, this is a good line. I generally like the products. They all do what they're supposed to do. They moisturize your hair. They give your hair hold. Uh, they give it slip. They make it really nice. They make it so it's easy to refresh it. All those things, they do what they're supposed to do. They're very, very nice products. But the scent is just too much. So my plan right now is to finish off the co-wash using it with the coconut shea. Just mixing it. And I will not repurchase it. I am going to keep the gel and I'm going to continue to repurchase this, but I'm going to say, but, um, if I can find another gel with the same kind of consistency that isn't more than $10 or is close to $10, uh, and doesn't have this heavy fragrance, cause that's the biggest issue is that heavy fragrance. I might change it then, but for right now I'm very happy with the gel and this is a repurchase. And these last two, the hair and body butter and the uh, anti-breakage deep conditioner are going to go to my granddaughter to uh, save my nose. <laughs> Hopefully she likes them. If she doesn't like them, I can give them to the neighbors. Sent them out for once. Since they like to scent us out with their weed. No joke. Anyway, so that is my overall thoughts. I said good line. If you like lavender, you might like this line. If the scents are too much, <laughs> if you're scent sensitive, you're not going to like these. You really are not going to like these. Uh, they are a little, they're just a little bit much. And um, the more sensitive you are to scent, the less you're going to like it. I promise. But the gel is amazing. So if anyone knows of a similar consistency gel, Let's do it down below. I'm open to it. So I'm just going to keep the gel. I'm going to finish up the co-wash. going to pass along the other two. That's just, I feel bad about it because I love Eden Body Works, but this line just did not work for me. It just didn't. It really didn't. And none of them had, none of the ones I ordered had high glycerin. Makes me sad. At any rate, that is it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe if you haven't yet. When you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week. That would be Monday and Thursday. However, we also have, well, at this point, one bonus video a month. <laughs> My son opens his My Geek Box every month and that goes up as a bonus video. If you send anything, you don't have to, but if you send anything, that could also be a bonus video. However, if you don't want it to be, just put a note in your box or you can join the Dami Tries This Facebook group, which is listed down below. And you can let me know down there that a package is on its way. And please don't embarrass you on the channel. And I will honor your request. If you're one of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. If you choose not to subscribe, well, I understand. Honestly, you should come back for the food. Subscribe for the food. Once a month, my husband does food. He's due for food. He's supposed to do desserts this month. May not show up till November, but he's supposed to do a dessert video this month. Ooh. My husband likes to say he can't bake. He just doesn't like it. Anyway, it's a bit more precise than cooking. With regular cooking, you just throw your spices in. With baking, you actually have to measure. <laughs> That's the only problem. At any rate, if you choose not to subscribe anyway, well, I'd be sad and disappointed. However, you are always welcome back here. And when you do come back again, don't forget your cup of tea or eggnog, or pumpkin spice latte, or wine and cheese, or anything you want. Coffee, beer, liquor, whatever you want. Bring whatever you want. We just would love to see you here. All right, so I already know this and it tastes wonderful. Let's go ahead and give it a sip and be on our way. 
Mm. The nice thing about this, okay, so for one, I, I do think this probably could have used another bag. It does taste just a touch weak, but that's a freaking big, big bug. Uh, but you do get the ginger root, which is really, really nice, and the cinnamon. The two of them just give a nice, warm spiciness. And with winter coming, we need all the warm spiciness we can get, really. It's a beautiful tea. You should be able to, if you cannot find it uh, in your grocery store, we sometimes we can find these at Kroger. Uh, if you cannot find it in your grocery store, just try stash.com. They've got lots of teas there. I'm kind of hoping they'll come up with an eggnog flavor. I've asked, I asked a couple of years ago, never saw it. Hopefully they'll do it someday. Alrighty, that's it. Hope you have a good one.